civilization did not begin 3,000 years ago, my friends. Civilization began about 75,000 years ago by the early Alcubilans Al or the early Africans or the very early Kushites in Southern Africa. Civilization did not begin with the ancient Greeks. Civilization did not begin with the ancient Romans. Civilization began with the early Kushites who migrated from Southern Africa via the Khoisans or the Khoikhoi and the Bantu to Northern Africa. Now, the Blambos Caves in Southern al Kibbalin have some of the most extraordinary pieces of arts that were made over 70,000 years ago. But we are not here to talk about the Blambos Caves. We're here to talk about Adam's calendar in Southern al Kibbalin. The Adam's calendar was built at least 75,000 years ago. Some believe that it was built as early as 130,000 years ago. But let's stick with 75,000 years ago. The early Kushites who built the Adam's calendar, they used granite, dolomite, and hornfell. These are special stones that have certain electromagnetic components. And this is very critical to what the early Kushites were trying to accomplish or had accomplished. Those stones were protruding from the ground, but those stones, because they're electromagnetic in nature, because of their components, because of their chemistry, those stones were connected with the magnetic energy or the magnetic force or the electromagnetic force from the core of the earth as well as the other minerals that carry that force from the core of the earth to the surface of the earth where these dolomites and granite they also created a force field that was con also connecting with the Orion constellation and likely other galaxies. We don't know the full extent of what the early Kushites were doing over 75,000 years ago, but we know this. Those megaliths, they are perfectly aligned with the brightest stars in the Orient constellation. And those megaliths, they have electromagnetic forces connecting into the earth and connecting above the earth with other electromagnetic forces, which could be the photon physics, or it could be other electromagnetic forces related to gravity. Now, we're gonna talk about that because it is very important to understand what these early human ancestors accomplish and how this knowledge migrated to, to the Kushites in Northern Africa, as well as to the Egyptians who were Kushites. Let's talk about Adam's calendar. And just think for a moment about the degree of knowledge that would be required to accomplish what I just said 75,000 years ago. Imagine the knowledge, exceptional inventions in spherical trigonometry in geometry, 
and other mathematical forms that would be required 75,000 years ago, at least, to align these electromagnetic megalith with the Orion constellation perfectly. Perfect alignment. Imagine. Now, this Adam's calendar can today be used as a real calendar to predict rainstorms, to tell the season of the year, to tell the time of the year by month, week, day, and even the precise time any given day. Yes, the Adams Calendar Circle can do that today, as it had done over 75,000 years ago. Now, again, imagine the knowledge in particle physics, wave fre frequency physics, or electricity and magnetism, quantum physics, other multivariable calculus, other mathematical methods in physics, statistics. We don't know that the Kushites were calling this quantum physics or quantum mechanics or electromagnetic uh, force 75,000 years ago. But we know that what they have accomplished. These matter names, quantum mechanics, quantum physics, wave fre frequencies, photon physics. We know that all of these names that we use today in physics and chemistry could easily have been used 75,000 years ago. Now, we will talk about this a whole lot more, Adam's calendar, and the astronomical signs, or the signs in astronomy and astrology that they develop 75,000 years ago. We will talk about that because this also has everything to do with Kushite spirituality. Let's go further north up to Naptaplea. While Adam's calendar was built over 75,000 years ago and is perfectly aligned with the Orion constellation that is over 1,300 light years away from here, from Earth, over 1,300 light years away from here. Now, in each light year is six trillion years, six trillion years in one light year. The Orion constellation is about 1,300 light years away from Earth. Now, let's go up to Naptaplea. Naptaplea is also aligned, at least when it was built, with the brightest stars in the Orion constellation. Naptaplea has megalith as well, which need to be examined more by scientists. But Naptaplea megalith are aligned, or at least when it was built, with the brightest stars in the Orion constellation, just as Adam's circle, our Adam's calendar. Now, let's move further north. Egypt. The three pyramids at Giza are also aligned with the Orion constellation, or at least the brightest stars in the Orion constellation. Now, the, the three pyramids at Giza, Naptaplea, Adam's Circle, all have the same astronomical concepts in common. They're aligned with the brightest stars in the Orion constellation. The Great Sphinx, which is aligned with the three pyramids at Giza, are also aligned toward the constellation of the Orion belt. Why are all of these monuments invented by the Alkibalans or Africans? Why are they so important? They're important friends because it shows that civilization 
not only began over 75,000 years ago, but it shows that the knowledge of the Kushites are the Kushite Egyptians and the knowledge that they brought to Kerma, the knowledge that they brought to Napata was the knowledge they use to construct the holy sacred city of Napata. The holy sacred city of Napata that was destroyed. It was completely razed, completely destroyed. Now, what we don't know is the knowledge that was destroyed there. The knowledge in astronomy, astrology, in earth signs, knowledge of physics, knowledge of chemistry, knowledge of architecture, and probably most importantly, knowledge of how the Kushites were able to survive global climate change that is now affecting us today. Imagine if we had that knowledge today. Imagine if that knowledge was not destroyed. So this is something for all of us, all of us to think about, all humans to think about, and think about in the sense that when we don't all stand together, we stand disintegrated. But let's go back to the Kushites. We're going to talk about Kushite spirituality. We're going to talk about what happened at Adam's calendar, what happens at Napta Playa, what happens at uh, the Three Pyramids at Giza, and then we're going to talk about the holy sacred city of Napata and how we are a weaker people today. All humans are weaker because of its destruction and what was destroyed there. All that knowledge and information that could probably help us today to survive global climate change that we still can't seem to figure out. <laughs>